What's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Elden Ring video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest ways to defeat Star Scourge Radon. And this isn't going to require any exploits to be used, nor is it going to require any insane weapons or armor. The strategy is slow paced, but it does get the job done. I just recently went over in a previous video how to start the Festival of Radon to be able to fight this boss, as well as what we get from defeating him and what we have to do with what we get. So if you're curious about any of that, I'll have a link to that specific video in the description. Feel free to check that out sometime. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. So when we start off the fight, just immediately start running this way and use the weapons that are on the ground to block his distance attacks on this part. Anyways, once you get over here to where there's a bunch of weapons laying around, just head toward these two summons right here and then immediately run back behind the weapons and then head back out and summon Blyde. Once you got Blyde, just immediately try to find cover to dodge his next attack, and then immediately start running this way. Over here is some more weapons that we can use to block another one of his attacks, and then once that shot gets blocked, you immediately wanna start running over here toward this summon. But yeah, once you got this summon here, we're not gonna be immediately running over here where we can see this scythe sticking out from the ground. If timed right running over toward the summon, we can use this to block his attack too. This typically happens if you're being consistent with getting the summons and not wasting much time. But yeah, anyways, once you got this summon, that will actually be his final shot over toward the scythe. He will now be distracted by the summons that we got on the battlefield. We then immediately would just want to get on our horse and head toward this way toward the next summon. And once we got this one, this is when I start to get into the battle and do a bit of damage from a distance. That's the strategy here that I'm working with. I'm keeping my distance from him so I don't aggro him and letting the summons do the work as well as distract him too. While they keep him distracted, we keep attacking until, of course, he starts coming after us. That's when we want to, you know, run from him and let our summons catch up with him to, once again, distract him. Now, if we do start seeing some die, which we will, we want to immediately start looking around the transparent flags that we see around this area. The, like, ghost white flags around. Yeah, these flags are where we're able to summon at. And if a champion has gotten taken out, you are able to resummon them. You just gotta look around for where you are able to. That's why I was suggesting to start searching for summons again when you start seeing them die. You don't want to risk it and you be the only one on the battlefield because then, you know, you are the target. <laughs> and he does an insane amount of damage to you if he hits you. You also want to be sure to try your best to keep your horse alive because that's how you're going to be able to stay away from him because you'll be able to get to the summons faster. Also be able to dodge his attacks easier too if he does get aggro with you. It's easier all around just being on the horse so try your hardest to keep him alive. But yeah I basically just rinse and repeat this strategy. Once I got my summons up against him I go in a little bit and do a bit more damage to him and then once I start seeing him die I start you know running around the battlefield looking for where I can resummon them at. And once I start resummoning them, I go back in for a little bit and do a bit more damage again. That's overall though the strategy that I used to defeat him. I also made sure to have plenty of FP potions and not as many HP potions just because when he did hit me, he was already doing a lot of damage. I was basically done in like two hits, so I didn't really care about the HP potions as much. Mainly focused on FP potions so I could keep dealing out damage to him at a distance. And if you're curious about the magic bow that I'm using against him, this is a spell that we unlock from beating Royal Knight Loretta. Which you'll fight that boss right before Ronnie's Rise, where you can encounter Ronnie to start her quest line. So, you should have this power by the time you are fighting this boss. As long as you took out the Royal Knight. But... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let the rest of this gameplay footage play out normally now instead of fast forward just so you guys can see exactly what I did against him in the original speed of the gameplay. I just wanted to speed up a lot of the fight just so the video isn't as long because this is a slow paced strategy, but it makes this fight easy. But yeah, hopefully this strategy helps make them easier for you. 